Applications of differentiation. In this video, we are going to focus on connected rates of change. You will find this on page 280 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Connected rates of change. If two variables, X and Y, both arrive with a third variable, T, the rate of change with respect to t, dy by dt, and dx by dt can be connected by using the chain rule. dy by dt, so as soon as I multiply this two, okay, so it's dy by dt, and then basically this one, I just want to see, then this x will cancel out, and I will be left with dy by dt. For example, if the area of the radius of a circle both arrive with t, then the rate of change of a with respect to t, dA over dt, and the rate of change of r with respect to t, dr over dt, are related by dA over dt, which originally I will take the two, dA over dr, and then dr over dt, and then the r's will cancel, and I will be left with this. Okay, but let's look at an example. The radius of a circular blob of paint increases at a constant rate. Now, now just think, that paint is covering an area. So it's, it's the circular, so it's a circular, and it's talking about the area of a circle. And the rate of change a uh, constant rate of 1,5 centimeters per second. Find the rate at which the area increases when the radius is 10. Okay, so let's first break it up. Let, let R centimeters and A centimeters square be the radius and the area of the circular block. The formula for the area of the circle, so you have to think back of geometry, Area of a circle is pi r squared. And the rate of change of the area is dA over dr. I differentiate to r. If I differentiate, I multiply 2. So there's the 2. I subtract 1 and it's pi r. If it's given that the rate of change of the radius is this. So it meaning that dr over dt is 1 over 5. Okay. So using the chain rule, if I'm going to take this and I multiply with this, then the R's will cancel and I will be ending up with dA over dt. So I multiply this and then I will get this answer. So when R is 10, okay, so when R is 10, this is what they say, the radius is 10, I substitute just in the place of R, now 10, and this will be my... Find the rate at which the area increases. So this will be the rate at which the area increases. And that is 4 pi centimeters squared per second. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do number one as well as number two. I think this is a bit more challenging. Especially that you have to work with two. Some of the, you have to bring back um, your geometry knowledge. Uh, thinking of the formulas and so this is why I want you to do both and then again you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Let's start with number one. Okay, I just want to need, need a color. Okay, the radius of a circle increases at the rate of 0 0.4. Okay, so that is the circle. Find the rate of increase in the area, so when the radius is, so area, so I'm, I'm sitting with two formulas. I'm sitting with the area of a circle. What is the area of a circle? Pi r squared. And I'm sitting with, uh, if I was doing it exactly like this example, then I'm sitting with this dr, okay, the radius of a circle increases, so over dt, that's with time, 
and that is the 0, 0,4. Right, there's my 1. But this one, I must still differentiate. So I say dA over dR. I differentiate to R. So I multiply, so it's 2 pi R. Now, I'm using the chain rule. So, can I just show you? I, I want to do it a little bit a different way. I want to say dA times dR multiply dR over dt because then you can see it cancel out and you can see it will give you dA over dt. Okay. And basically what I did is I was just taking the two sides and I just multiplied with each other. And if I'm doing that, I will get 0 0.8 by R. Okay. So when, when R, and this is what they say, is 8, then dA over dt will be 0 0.8 by times 8 and that will be 6.4 by centimeter per second okay and that will be your final answer okay number two let's try number two let's first make space Okay, let's start with number A. The radius of a spherical, now this is very, this is a sphere, so you have to think back of the formulas in geometry of a sphere, that is being inflated, increased at a constant rate of 0 0.2 centimeter per second. Calculate the rate of the surface area. So, when you start, what is the surface, let's first say, before we start. You can check that in ordinary level if you cannot recall the formula. And what will that be? Okay, so this is the formula. Now, if I'm going to say the rate of change, okay, and there, because again I have my two sides. So on this side, the constant rate is 0, 0,2. So say the dr over dt, and that's 0, 0,2. Okay, but here I must still differentiate. And that's going to give me 8 by r. And again, I'm, I'm using my chain rule, and I, I want to do it the other way around again, so that you can see the cancelling out. So basically, I'm just taking the two and I multiply it with each other, two sides, and this cancels. So this is going to give me then that dA over dt, which I was looking for, and that is just the 8 pi r times the 0 0.2. And that will give me an answer of 1.6. By R. Okay, and now we do the question. Calculate a constant. Okay, the surface when the radius is six. This is very important. So when the radius. Now we use this this formula. When the radius. Oh, I could have just do it a little bit shorter. Want to do it shorter? Too long writing. When the radius is 6, and when r is 6, I'm going to even do it better still. Okay. So when r is 6, dA over dt will be 1.6. Okay, just get that point. 
five and Linda R six. And that will give me a final answer of 9.65 centimeter squared per second. Okay, because that's area. That was number A. Let's do number B. I'm just going to make space. Number 2B, the volume. Okay, now think volume. I'm just going to say it's sphere. What is the volume of a sphere? Can you still recall? That is 4 over 3 pi r3. You can just memorize that, that. Okay, so when we start, we're going to say, okay, if we have the volume on this side, 4 over 3 pi r3. Three. And now, don't, don't forget what they say, the constant rate of 0, 0,2. So, it's just like, I like, so just to show you the two sides. So, dr over dt, it's just like the previous one, is 0, 0,2. But now it's dv over dr. And now, oh, I'm just going to do it long. I think you can see it already. And subtract 1. Remember, pi is just a constant. So it's 4 pi r squared. Okay, and now again, if I say dv over dr times dr over dt, cancel dv over dt equals 4 pi r squared times 0 0.2 and that will give me 0 0.8 pi r squared. So when r is 6, just like they said, then dv over dt will be 0 0.8 pi 6 squared, and that will give me a final answer of 28.8 by okay, let's just cubic because it's volume per second and that will be my fine. Leave it as pi. You don't have to work it. This is also taken as an exact answer. Okay, and that's how you do that.